Hey, what's up everyone? And welcome back to my lovely living room of which I live. This week I was feeling particularly interested in clothing and home goods and just other general items. I have a lot of stuff that I've gathered over the past couple months that I haven't shown you guys, so I wanted to kind of show you all of that, tell you what I use it for and tell you where I got it from. It's finally autumn, so some of these items are based around that and I couldn't be happier. Autumn is honestly my favorite season and I cannot get enough of it, so yeah, just get ready for a lot of that. It's kind of a favorites video, it's kind of a haul, so here we go. Although it's not cooling down in Los Angeles yet, in general, I want it to. So I got a lot of sweaters, I guess in hopes that it will cool down, but it hasn't yet. So I'm just sitting here like sweating in a sweater. Is that where the name, why, why is that in the name? The first sweater I got is this guy. It's just a Levi's old vintage sweater and it's got red in the top and red in the bottom. It's got yellow on the sleeves and then blue in the base. So it's super colorful and I'm not used to wearing colorful things. I like to wear a lot of neutrals like blacks and browns and greens. So this was kind of out of my comfort zone, but I bought it and I love it. And as a lot of you guys have seen, I've worn it a lot. So yeah, I'm definitely getting a use out of it and probably wearing it too much to be honest. Oh well, I wash it so. Doesn't really matter, that's my choice. <laughs> the next sweater I picked up was specifically for a photo shoot, but I've been wearing it a lot afterwards. It's this one from a company called APC. On camera it looks kind of brown, and in person it kind of does too, but it's more of a, like a maroon in a way? But it's also got like weird, it's got like little bits, I'm like, hmm, what's it got in it? It's got orange and green also in it, but yeah, it's just like a wool sweater. I think it's wool, is it wool? I don't know, it's wool. So it looks really nice in the fall because it kind of has those fall tones. But again, I can't really wear it that often because it's so hot here, but I really, really love it because it's so plain and simple. It's like such a staple that I know I'll be able to wear in like 10 years and it still will make sense. That was worth it and I absolutely adore it. Next, for pants, I've been wearing lately a lot of joggers and in the United States, they're like popular, but not quite as popular as somewhere like the UK or Australia. So I get frequent compliments when I wear these joggers of like, what are those? Where did you get them? And I have this pair here that I wear like every day from a brand called Publish, but I got it at Urban Outfitters. The difference is they just, they just taper down and then you wear this part. There's a hair. And you wear this part around your ankle versus going over your ankle. So it's like really tight fit and neat. And I hated joggers for a really long time because they sag in the middle. Like so the middle of the pant sags. And I didn't really like that look, but these ones do a good job of not doing that. So they fit really nicely and like perfect to my body. But yeah, I get compliments on these almost every day I wear them. So I bought another pair in black just because, you know, I like the compliments. <laughs> And when I'm not wearing those, I'm wearing just plain old skinny jeans from Top Man. I got these like a month ago and I wear them again almost every day. When I'm not wearing those, I'm wearing these. And they have nice holes in the knees. I've already like ripped that one times too. If you go to most stores now, I think almost all of the pants have holes in the knees because I don't know why, but that's very in right now. So I just had to get a pair. And the good part about Top Man jeans is they are like stretchy. So although they're skinny, they don't feel like you're constricting your body and that your legs are losing blood circulation. So they fit perfect, but they don't feel like you're gonna die, which is great when you're wearing pants. You don't wanna feel like you're gonna die. The next thing I actually got is a birthday present. Since it's fall, I like to light even more candles than I usually do. So that's a freaking lot of candles. So this one I actually got for my birthday and it's from this brand called Sanjula. It's cardamom and vanilla flavor and it's made in Australia. So there we go. Cause if you didn't know, I was in Australia for my birthday, so. Australian birthday gifts, woo, 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 woo. And it smells so good. It smells like a spicy vanilla smell. Let me light it. Oh yes. Da, 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 da. Blessing you with this candle. Also it has a wood wick, which makes like a nice crackling noise. So it has like a nice ambiance to the room when I'm in it. And it doesn't feel like I'm super alone <laughs> and secluded in my apartment. Okay, yep, getting too personal. Another thing I got for my birthday, but it's too heavy to take off my counter, is an espresso coffee machine, which I absolutely freaking love. So the great part about an espresso coffee machine is that you put these little pods in the coffee machine and then you just click it and you press a button and it makes you a coffee. It's so quick, it's so instant. So for those mornings that I do not wanna like take the time to grind up coffee and like do the whole, I mean granted it only takes 10 minutes, but if I don't wanna take that 10 minutes, I literally can just make a coffee with the press of a button. And I'm out of pods right now, but I can guarantee you because it's fall, I'm gonna go buy some more and I'm gonna buy a pumpkin spice flavored one because you have to, it is fall. You have to embrace the pumpkin spice flavoring that is in pretty much everything. Candles, coffee, foods, everything. For me, fall is leaves, pumpkins, candles, and sweaters. I've covered it pretty much across the board. Another thing I got a couple months ago but haven't showed you guys yet are these fairy lights. So I went on Amazon and I found these 
fairy lights. They were really cheap and affordable and I was like, okay, if I get them and they suck, at least I didn't spend that much money. But I got them and they're actually great. And one of the things I did is I went out and I bought a glass terrarium. So it's like a little glass encounter that I got at West Elm. And I just put the fairy lights in it. And so like every night I plug that in and it automatically adds more light to that corner of the room. It makes sense for like Halloween and Christmas, so. Yeah, I'll probably just keep it up all year. I also put them around my little plant tree, which is still alive for those wondering. It's been through a lot, but it's still here. Yep. And the final thing that I have been obsessed with and interested in and doing is reading this book. This book is called Holding the Man. And I first became aware of this book when Sam Smith posted an Instagram like a couple months ago. He posted an Instagram after reading the book and then seeing the film which recently came out. So I pretty much automatically just was like, okay, I'm gonna put this on my books to read. And I actually went out and bought the physical copy of it and read the entire book on my flight from Sydney, Australia, back to Los Angeles. It's like a 300 page book, so that's pretty dang good for me. Rarely do I sit down and like read a book, but really, really rarely do I sit down and read an entire book. And it's actually an incredibly tragic love story between these two guys. It takes place in the 80s and the 90s of Australia, and it's kind of about the ups and downs of their relationship. It also takes place during the AIDS and HIV epidemic, so it's just, it's a very sad, but interesting love story. And I don't know, I just really, really connected with it, and I was basically at the verge of tears the entire flight. So yeah, that just, that messed me up real good. But yeah, so that's pretty much what I've been into this month. Lots of clothes, candles, coffee, lights, books, all that good stuff. I am so glad it's finally October because this is my favorite time of the year. I love Halloween, I love Thanksgiving, I love Christmas, I love New Year's. So I'm glad that I got to share some of the things that I've been obsessed with and interested in with you guys. Hope you found it useful, hope you found it great. If you guys want more videos like these, make sure to let me know in the comments below. If you want me to do like a haul of a certain type of video, like, I don't know, like a candle haul, or a book haul, or a coffee haul, I don't know. But yeah, so I think I'm gonna go. I hope you guys are having a great week and enjoying life. But uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to big thumbs up, leave a comment below, click subscribe. Bye.